forward rates are the rates that may be derived from the yield curve and in fact these are the market interest rates at forward interest rates commitments for forward lending and foreign borrowing arrangements are made now what is a forward loan a forward loan is an arrangement now to make a loan at some future date and in this type of loan the parties agree today on the interest to be charged in on that particular loan but the loan would not be commenced until some time in the future now the question arises that how to price a forward loan the answer is that the forward rate of interest is there uh, for the period of the particular forward loan so this is the rate at which the forward loan can be priced uh, to understand this mechanics we have a particular example where the price of a zero coupon bonds for year 1 the bond value is 952.38 dollars and at the end of year 2 the bond has a price of 890 dollars the ytm on this this bond is for year 1 the bond has a ytm of 5% and for year 2 the bond has a ytm of 6% the forward rate of the second year uh, using the particular forward formula uh, the value comes to 7.01 percent now we consider this strategy laid out in an other step that initial cash flow at time not is equal to zero so uh, by a one year zero at 952.38 dollar this means that uh, we are uh, lending this amount uh, receive $890 for each zero maturing in two years that means that the proceeds are coming against this bond then uh, we need to sell these proceeds at 1.0701 uh, this is the growth factor of these bonds uh, multiplying our proceeds with this growth factor this will make the initial cash flow is equal to zero we have a particular uh, computation here which is says that by a one year zero at 952.38 dollars that is our initial cash outflow sell 1.0701 two years and that we are taking back the proceeds of our loan which is 952.38 the resulting cash flow is zero so net cash flow we have a zero in this particular case and if we generalize our values then we see that a by a one year zero coupon bond that is negative b naught into one that b naught is basically the bonds value at a time zero sell 1.0701 two years bond uh, this is plus b naught into two multiplied by 1.1 plus f2 so f2 is the forward rate and b naught 2 is the bond value at the end of year 2 and this expression again says that the resulting value is equal to 0 so initial cash flow and the uh, re uh, resulting cash flows the net value of these two cash flows is equal to 0 then in fact we are engineering a synthetic forward loan and how we are doing it let start it in effectively we are borrowing $1,000 a year from now. Then we are repaying at a growth factor of 1.070.1 a year later. This means that the rate on this forward loan is therefore 7.01%. This is precisely equal to the forward rate for the year 2. And if we see the graph here, it starts from 0. At year 1, we are receiving. Uh, we are receiving uh, we, the uh, uh, $1,000 and at year 2 we are uh, multiplying this value with the growth factor and the net value of these cash flows is equal to 0. Then with reference to the general forward rate, the short rates in the two periods are R1 which is in fact 
observed today and r2 which is not so we have an r1 today that is a known rate of interest but we uh, don't know the rate of return interest at the year 2 which is r2 the rate that can be locked in for a one period ahead loan is f2 and that starts at the end of year 1 f2 is then the rate on the forward loan so to price the forward loan we are using the f2 as the forward rate of interest if we see the picture we have r1 for the one year to price the a uh, cash outflow of $1000 and inflow of $1000 and for year 2 we have r2 that is the forward rate of interest which we use to price the forward loan now we see that a synthetic forward loan can be constructed for beyond 2 years and even it can be constructed constructed for multiple periods of time uh let's say have another example if anyone wants to obtain such loan beginning in year 3 and ending in year 5 then he may issue a 5 years zero coupon bond this means in fact he is borrowing for the 5 years and in the next step he he is buying a 3 years zero bond this means that he is lending for a 3 year so issuing a bond means borrowing a money and buying a 3 year bond means lending that particular money for a particular 3 years period these two positions like first borrowing for 5 years and then lending for 3 years these two positions are cancelling out for the first 3 years this means that effectively this uh, position leaves this per particular person with a borrowing position uh, starting after the year Three, and it goes on until the end of the year five. 